just developing right across the street, public ground, just wild. They're going to be ready and they're already coming out. That's God. What am I supposed to eat in my life? Well, God is right here. What is right outside your door? That's God. Blackberries, that's what I'm supposed to eat. And they're the best berries there are. Black has more nutrients than, than like strawberries and all. It just, uh, it's like eat what, lo eat what is local, eat the local produce in your region where God ordained you to be. And I even believe in eating in season. Like when it, it's harvest time for blueberries right now, the entire atmosphere, like everything in the universe is made for your body to be ingesting blueberries right now. There's blueberry harvest time where I live, <laughs> including the weather, the heat, the humidity, the sunshine. My body runs best on blueberry fuel in the midst of the sunshine. God, God, maximum efficiency, maximum pleasure, maximum perfection. You don't need to go far and you don't want to go far. Think about how many people, we're going to set so many people free when people start eating local. Now these guys don't need to be, now we don't have as many people in trucks driving down freeways. You know what I'm saying? It's freedom for the masses. The more people live and eat local, the more freedom for everyone, the more blessing for everyone. <laughs> now, I'm saying this as I drink, you know, organic chocolate, cocoa powder. Of course, that comes from halfway across the world. God is sovereign over all this international blessing and international trade, so. <laughs> but I am saying local first. <laughs> you know, local is your gold medal. Anything else, it's all good. But, you know, choose local first. I mean, let's put it this way. If there's an option for something that grows in your region, buy the local stuff, obviously. It's going to be the best, the freshest, and the most blessed. You know. So the, these are fresh local blueberries. I bet you they came from that farm down the street. They literally fit my body like a glove in season right now. And when the blackberries across the street come out, they're already coming out, they will fit my body like a glove right now in season. Mm. Mm, so good. Oh man. Theobroma cacao, fruit of the gods. And God is three persons, okay? That's why you can say gods. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, food of the gods. Triune, three of them. Praise God. Love that. Glass. Glass equals Father. The word toast is a triple I am. A toast. You got three twenties in there plus the fifteen. Go to the center. Aha. A toast to the great I am. There. I, I, as far as I know, I just might have been one of the first people in history to do that while knowing the math on the word toast. O-A-S, two plus ones, one letter divides by three. Furthermore, the M differs from an S by six, which is golden. The O from the I by six, which is golden. That's in order, the I and the O. The A equals the A, the M and the S at the center of toast. And then the T's are king. T is king for I am. It's the last word of best, highest, and holiest. T -t 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 -t. I am minus three. Amazing. So you have I am minus three, I am plus 15 or excuse me, uh, I am plus 12, I am minus 3. Toast. A toast to the great I am. A toast to the great I am. It's chocolate in my hand. Specifically, Theobroma cacao, blueberry, cinnamon, crushed ice and water. But a toast to the great I am. There, the word toast. Solved. <laughs> oh my.
phenomenal. Well, <laughs> oh yeah, we solved the word pitcher the other day. Pitcher was stunning. Pitcher, plants, phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, more to come. I might top up some of this. <laughs>